Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 10th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and anything else that's affecting humanity, keeping you aware and prepared. Looking here, the last 48 hours on the sun, still pretty quiet, but we do have some incoming activity. You can see things starting to brighten up and as well plasma filaments erect from the incoming images and as well outgoing images here still pretty quiet another quick look here at one incoming bright region could become a sunspot another light here in a multi-spectrum Another light here, you can see the coronal hole trying to develop in the in the equator of the sun and as well another coronal here developing beside the bright region incoming. Looking at the real-time solar wind as we are still pretty calm for solar wind, 360, 330 kilometers per second. The phi angle seems to have stopped flip-flopping but we're watching the temperature now increase looking here at the schumann resonance for today a power of 29 quality of 10.4 power 29 let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as yes it has been a busy planet rocking three sixes early this morning but we're going to start out here most recently as we're seeing an earthquake swarm in nazi japan 4.7 just recently but they've seen about seven earthquakes there today volcanic islands region and as well russia here 4.7 114 kilometer depth to report 4.7 there in china and as well a 4.2 here to report in jamal pakistan and then early, early this morning, overnight, 6.1 there, Indonesia, 6.0, East Java, and as well the Philippines. So 6.0, Papua New Guinea, 6.1, Philippines, and 6.0, Indonesia, as well, 4.8 there, pretty deep one, right in the middle of it all. 545 kilometer depth. So all these large earthquakes came after I had forecasted after the deep earthquakes in Fiji from yesterday. And we're not really seeing them today. 346 kilometer depth as the deepest in the region. Quiet around Hawaii, except north of the island reported a 2.5 here. Looking over Alaska, starting to see that increase and you will see an uptick in seismicity over the next 48 hours for sure overlooking north american plate canada usalat canada 3.3 just south of tofino canada reported today and as well washington there and calistoga california 3.3 2.9 there livermore california 3.4 holtville 10 kilometer depth and as well, another Smiley, Texas, 2.6 quake. Interesting places for earthquakes. And then the D Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico's earthquake swarm has calmed as we've seen a lot of sufrir action in the subduction zone. 
Overlooking South America, 5.3 reported here, 20 kilometer depth. Chile. And as well, 4.4 and a 4.7. 5.7 to report here, South Shetland Islands. 4.5 to report here in Greece, Luthaka, Luthaki, Luthaki, Greece. So there we are. That's the last 24 hours, seeing a lot of activity into the Pacific Plate, the Philippines Plate, Japan. Looking at the last seven days, a lot of white rings recently. So yes, things have definitely increased over the last 24 hours. Definitely keeping an eye on South America, Central America. Close eye on South America. And as well through the Philippines plate. Still, as there's just tons of action, we could see even more volcanoes wake up over the next little while. So stay aware and prepared and please share this video. Now, speaking of videos, Soufrière did erupt yesterday and look at the SO2 models coming from windy.com. Wow, that is a lot of SO2. We're looking at 500 and some odd parts per milligram in some areas that are gonna be thwarted and blown into Colombia, Venezuela, and even Africa. You can see here the model right up into Wednesday throwing SO2 and ash right over Africa. Just wanted to show you quickly the rest of the planet and its SO2 emissions. Major outputters, of course, Kilauea, and as well through Central America, Guatemala, and just recently, Soufriere. Now look at that, 245 parts per milligram in some areas, but in some areas reaching up to 500 and 14 kilometers or 514 parts per milligram so thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by this large volcanic event all across the island saint vincent de grenadines prayers and thoughts from canada much love now something else rare and interesting happened last night 1300 kilometers or sorry 1300 lightning strikes per two seconds was happening across missouri last night mississippi dropping about two tornadoes but literally thousands thousands tens of thousands of lightning strikes massive intertropical convergence and you can see that here on these wind maps from NOAA I'm looking at here the last 24 hours for lightning strikes across the southeastern United States and you can see earth was pretty much scarred across southern parts of North America and they're still going across Florida and southward towards the equator as that cold front pushes all the way to the equator so major shift is happening across the planet and it is being documented and has been documented here for four years with morning dew on daily events worldwide let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update Sabancaya in Peru Popo in Mexico Sangue in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevados de Chilean in Chile, Reventador, Ecuador, Tocono, Indonesia, Soufriere, St. Vincent, Suisunajima in Japan, Era in Japan, Ebuko in Russia, Sinabung, Indonesia, Pacaya, Guatemala, and of course, Kilatoa, Ecuador just awoken yesterday so wow yeah very very busy planet and volcanic activity report will be coming out tomorrow so stay tuned as the numbers are changing yet again tornado warnings across the united states and we do have another tropical cyclone to talk about in the southern hemisphere tropical cyclone 28 is alive and is going to be heading southwards across new caledonia but not going to be a major issue. And as well, tropical cyclones Soroja and Odette are tangoing along the coastline of, the, of Australia. And it looks like they will be penetrating the southwestern parts of the continent. 
Wednesday into Thursday. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike, starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As, yeah, we had a little bit of mixed bag of precipitation throughout parts of Alberta today. Rain, flurries, but windy, very windy. And I'm sure a lot of people are across the planet are reporting very windy situation right now. So here we are, low pressure system moving through tomorrow and bringing some cool temperatures behind it. And then that system is going to be heading over into the Great Lakes region and affecting eastern Canada and the United States. A big high pressure ridge over the Hudson Bay is going to gobble up most of that moisture. Still some extreme weather to watch for across the east coast, United States. Watching this low move into the Atlantic Ocean. Finally, in the long range forecast. And then as well, that low that we've been following the last few days does penetrate the west coast or sorry, western portions of Europe into Portugal and is spawning a little low pressure system straight across Central Europe to join forces with, wow, go figure, more low pressure systems, Eastern Europe. So everything is just merging right now. Low pressure systems, temperatures, and accelerating. Overlooking Europe, small low pressure system there to affect Mediterranean Africa no major weather systems affecting you this week except you could see some pretty cool regions cool temperatures sorry in Egypt and northern parts of Africa overlooking Southeast Asia and the East Indies no major weather systems in play except for that low pressure system affecting China. And then overlooking the Philippines and Malaysia. You do have a low pressure system developing here, but it it seems pretty stagnant here in the five day forecast. That means it could be a doozy of a storm. We could have a cat five typhoon to start off the West Pacific typhoon season. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Things are changing drastically. And then here, overlooking New Caledonia, as the Tropical Cyclone 28 moves through. Just going to bring a lot of rain. And then to parts of northern New Zealand. And rain continues for New Zealand. Overlooking Australia, cooler temperatures across southeastern and southwestern parts as Odette and the other cyclone I don't know why they named them so funny Eroja Saroja there we go Saroja and Odette will be penetrating the southwestern coastline of Australia Tuesday Monday and to Tuesday overlooking Hawaii no major weather systems there either could see some cloud move in for Tuesday. Overlooking Alaska and the West Coast, North America. Low pressure system moving in Monday into Tuesday. And will bring, bring quite a windy situation across Alaska. And as well, northern parts of BC. Strong high pressure ridge here. Amping up a low here in the West Pacific. Should be an interesting forecast coming up. So stay tuned daily as these forecasts change quickly sometimes. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains. Accompanied with, of course, SO2 and ash from Soufriere. Could see some heavy rains here towards coastal regions Panama and as well Colombia, but no major weather systems for South America. Gonna leave you here looking at our big Atlantic Ocean versus the Pacific Ocean. Who will develop the largest low pressure system first? I think it's gonna be the 
the Pacific. Most likely a Category 5 typhoon for the West Pacific. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.